Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Trains Automation Destination, this said Trains. I hope you are doing well. So today we are going to talk about yet another topic around AI, that is MCP, which stands for Model Context Protocol. This is hot topic in the market. So let us get started and discuss more about it. So what is MCP? MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. So let us understand what exactly it is. So this is an open source protocol that standardize how applications provide context to LLMs. So with the help of applications, we actually provide the context to LLMs and we communicate with LLMs. So it enables seamless integration between LLM applications and external data sources as well as tools. What does it mean? So with the help of MCP, we can connect LLM with external data sources or tools. So let us try to understand the architecture. So this is host with MCP client. So for example, Claude or Google Gemini, right? GitHub Copilot and IDs tools, right? They want to, for example, talk to local data source or they want to talk to internet, right? So what MCP provides is it can create a server right so it create a server and this server provide the integration with this local data source for example we want to talk to the file system of our system right or we want to for example talk to database on our system right so for that purpose mcp server creates some sample uh, architecture or some sample code this is a basic unit right which enables it to communicate to local data source right so with the help of mcp protocol what happens is this mcp client can talk to this local data source right so we can say that this server provide the integration with data sources similarly we can talk to the internet world as well for example we can interact with browsers right for that purpose web apis are implemented right now there are like different components of mcp mcp host programs like cloud desktop IDs or AI tools that want to access data through MCP. So as we just discussed, for example, this particular cloud want to talk to this local data source. So for example, with the help of LLM, we want to talk to data source, right? We want to, for example, get the access to the file system, right? So how we can do it? So for example, if we directly write to our uh, LLM, or cloud or any chat gpt right so if we for example write them that check the file system in my local system for example i want to check the d drive or c drive it won't be able to do so but with the help of mcp we can achieve it right so this is what it is saying programs like cloud desktop ids or ai tools that want to access data through mcp is known as mcp host so what is mcp clients protocol clients that maintain one-on-one -on -one communication with servers right so this is mcp servers and with the help of mcp protocol mcp client talk to this particular server and server further connect with the unit right okay so what is mcp server these are lightweight programs so these are programs that each expose specific capabilities so for example it could be a file system it could be database mcp server right so there are like various data like mcp server available in the market like for example recently mcp selenium server also came into the picture we have mcp postgres we have mcp playwright right so there are many uh, mcp servers available in the market right now these are lightweight programs and each of these servers has a specific capability right and that is possible with the help of standardized model context protocol right and then we have local data sources so for example our computers file databases and services that mcp servers can securely access right and we can talk to web api as well right we can talk to internet as well with the help of uh, remote services right as it is mentioned here right now how it works right so for example we have claude right so first of all we will have to integrate claude with mcp server right whichever the mp server M mcp server we want to utilize we will have to integrate it with claude and we will write our requirement for example i'll write access the d drive and check this and this folder right so if this integration is available only then this particular communication will work right and similarly for example i want to talk to database so i'll be writing first of all i'll be integrating mcp server of database with the, the cloud uh, 
client right cloud mcp client and then i'll be able to do so right so this is how it works right now the question is why mcp right so mcp helps you build agents and complex workflows on top of llms right so we want llm to talk to for example in the file system we want it to talk to the browser we want to talk it to the various services right so this is where mcp helps us right because lm cannot directly access any resources so with the help of mcp it is possible so llms frequently need to integrate with data and tools right so as it mentioned that if we want to create agents right agents is something which work on our behalf right so in terms of ai we have ai agent concept right ai agent is something which will like ai which will work on our behalf right so it will take decision and it will proceed further right so similarly llms frequently need to integrate with data and tools so that it can talk to it for example if i take an example of file system so llm need to talk to file system for that purpose it should have integration for example we want llm to talk to github to get the access of repository we want to talk it to github gitlab right anything right so what mcp provides a growing list of pre-built integration that your llm can directly plug into for example, we want to have integration between LLM and GitHub, so it can be available already by the MCP, right? So we can utilize that and we can talk to GitHub, right? So flexibility to switch between LLM providers and vendors, right? So we don't need to stick to a specific LLM, right? Whichever LLM support MCP, we can utilize it, right? And as we will be keeping the data within our system because MCP server would be started in our machine, right? So we can secure the data as well right now let us discuss about mcp from the official documentation right so if i'll navigate here so this is the official documentation where you can read about it and you can understand more on this so i took most of the data from this particular site itself right this is the github repository of model context protocol right so with the help of uh, this particular model context protocol you can create your own server or you can utilize the existing servers right so it has different specifications like python sdk java sdk kotlin sdk right so we can use any of these languages and we can create our own servers right so these are the list of servers provided by model context protocol meaning these are the MCP servers. So for example, this is AWS KB Retrieval. So if we, for example, integrate it with LLM, we can access AWS knowledge base using Bedrock agent runtime, right? We can talk to GitHub, we can talk to GitLab, we can talk to Google Drive, Google Maps, right? So this is what I wanted to cover, guys. This is how we can communicate to any third-party tool with the help of MCP. And this is what I want you to cover as part of current discussion. In the next lecture, I would be discussing about MCP Selenium server, which is recently launched or recently came into the picture. And with the help of MCP Selenium server, we can communicate with browsers. So thank you once again for watching this lecture. And I would request you to please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you once again.